Uh, first thing I just say is uh, uh, I feel like our team competed. Uh, I don't feel like ever anybody gave up. I thought they fought. I thought they competed. I thought, uh, you know, there were there were some positives today. Uh, it's it's hard to find them, but it's but there's some positives. I think when we uh, thought our defense got some turnovers, and you know, I think in the first half, it was just you know frustrating the fact that we were uh, we were getting turnovers and getting penalties on turnovers. You know, we got we had a roughing the passer on an interception. We had a an, another uh, situation where we had a a penalty on a on a, on a turnover. And those, you know, those plays would have made a big difference uh, in the game. We kept some of their drives going in the first half with penalties, and uh, I thought that was that was disappointing and frustrating. I think um, when the game, uh, and I'm not sure exactly when it was and what the everything, all the details were, but when the game was, when we scored and it was 14 to nine, um, and we went for two. You know, we got the the big turnover for the touchdown. We went for two, and the reason we went for two in that situation is it makes it 14 to 11, and then you're a field goal uh, away from tying it. And uh, the fact that we lost uh, our quarterback Rob Tanyan on that play, um, you know, we we uh, you know he was our last quarterback, and uh, uh, that was that was tough and that was frustrating. And uh, we, um, you know, the the um, and I'm not going to comment on any of. Any of the, because it, it's not, it, it doesn't gain anything at all to comment about the officiating. The only thing that I say now is I apologize for uh, getting as upset as I did. That my whole thing was, uh, I had told the officials before the game that we had one quarterback left and would appreciate them protecting our quarterback. And uh, I felt like uh, he should have been protected on that because he slid, and uh, and got a concussion and you know he's our third quarterback that we have out right now with concussions um, and we had to go to another plan at that time and we had you know we had prepared for it uh, we you know because we knew we had one running back we lost Buck Logan uh, and even the, you know Oscar Wozniak did a great job stepping in there uh, uh, you know we actually we lost Buck Logan before we lost um, uh, Rob, Tanya, uh, but we had a plan for if we lost Buck Logan, and then we had a plan if we lost Rob Tanya. Uh, it, it kind of amazing. It, it is kind of amazing to me that we lost both of them, and we ended up having to have a receiver uh, taking snaps. Demery Lachey, who uh, I thought he did a good job, except you know he probably shouldn't have thrown that pass. We called it as a bootleg, and if he was if somebody was wide open, he was supposed to hit them or run the ball. But I thought, for the most part, I thought he competed and did it, did everything he could do in the situation. Mike, you talked about the, the defense, you know, really given the situation they had to deal with today with a with, you know favorable field position for us on you, did a pretty good job. I mean, you know, just talk about the some of the fight you're talking about was primarily on their side of the ball. Yeah, I, I thought our defense w was very physical, very tough, very competitive, and and. Uh, and I, you know, moving forward from this point, I have great uh, pride and and excitement about the defense going into next year because of how they've uh, ended up the season. Um, I think we kind of ran out of guys on offense, uh, and and we're we're not going to allow that to happen. We're going to, you know, there's a, I've learned a lot during the season. Our players have learned a lot, and I've learned a lot. And there's a lot. A lot of things that I'm going to do differently. A lot of things I'm going to change. A lot of things I'm going to improve on. And we will not be in this position again. Yeah, what you learn from Mount Buck, what, you know, if you had to figure it out. I could give you, it would be war and peace if I if I went. Uh, and, and the thing that's amazing is, you know, I've been coaching for a long time. And that's the great thing about this profession is you always learn. And you always grow and you can always get better. And I feel like I need to get better. Our coaching staff needs to get better. Our players need to get better. And uh, there's a lot of things that I learned about, uh, you know, I mean, there's some things we got to look at as far as our, you know, we, you know, sometimes injuries just happen. 
but sometimes there's things you can do to eliminate them, and we've got to look at all those things and and eliminate. Uh, you know, I we're not. I'm not going to be the victim on this deal. You know, I'm not going to be. I'm not going to sit here and and be an excuse maker and act like the victim. We, the, the facts are the facts, but we've got to find solutions, and we've got to find answers uh, moving forward because we are going to win. And I haven't. I, no way have I lost my vision for this program uh, to win a championship. And that's what, you know, it's, it's hard to say that from the, you know, the ashes and rubble and fire that's burning right now. But uh, I, I believe that, that we're going to win and we're, we're going to come out of this stronger than we were before. What do you do in the offseason, you know, after a 1-11 and season, you know, to keep, to prevent recruiting from dropping off, to, you know, to, to, to build enthusiasm back? I mean, obviously the crowd today was I mean, pretty small. But what do you, you know, what's your plan to do with that? My deal right now is is more about our players than about anything. The whole thing is about our players, and I see, I see great hope and great uh, things ahead with our team. Now, there's things we've got to change. There's things we've got to improve, and to me, it's all about our players. And even before, I knew that, you know, uh, our players go on fall break uh, this week, and we're having a meeting tomorrow. Uh, Basically, 2013 is over, and 2000, the season of 2014 starts now. And we are meeting tomorrow, and before they go on fall break, uh, they know it's a mandatory meeting tomorrow, and we're going we're gonna to talk about what we're doing moving forward. And to me, it's all about our players and our coaching staff uh, moving forward. The scrap at the end of the game, is that just player frustration coming out? I mean, you know, it's unfortunate that the game had to end that way. Yeah, I'm, I'm disappointed with that, and uh, and I let our players know that. And there were some things that that happened today that, and 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 I, you know, I take responsibility and accountability for my situation that I got a penalty. Uh, I I was, my heart was in the right place because I was fighting for one of our players, but my actions were unacceptable, and I and I I shouldn't do that. And I think some somewhat that may have led to a mentality that happened after that. And I told our players that's inexcusable. We're we're going to be a tough physical team, but we're not going to be a team that fights because it's it's that's unsportsmanlike. It's not. It's ugly. It's not what is great and good about college football and college athletics. What players do you think emerged this season that gave you a base to build on? Now, who do you think really kind of? Well, I think a guy that was that was. You know, had emerged in the past, but I think he emerged even more. It's Connor Underwood. Um, I, you know, I, you know, I, and I'm talking about underclassmen. Uh, Kendall Walker uh, is a guy that, you know, when he was out for the 38 days with a concussion, uh, it hurt our team a lot because he's a good player. Um, you know, those are I, you know, right off the top of my head, those are a couple of guys uh, that I have a lot of respect for. You know, there's a guy, you know, who's a Hoshan, uh, um, Sally Lowe, that I have a tremendous respect amount of respect for. He had an interception. Uh, I think he I, I, he almost took it back for a touchdown. Uh, but you know I have a lot of respect for him. He played in a in a situation because Donovan Lane was hurt. Uh, he's a guy. I think obviously a healthy Mike Parrish uh, is a is a is a positive thing. Buck Logan, I feel great about uh, moving forward on offense. Uh, there's a bunch of guys that are coming back from injury that I feel good about, but Jamar Brown, a tight end. Uh, I feel like we have a lot of receivers uh, that have not played as of late that are gonna. That I, I feel good about them moving forward. I, I'm not. I, there's too many of them to name. Um, Adam Masters, an offensive lineman coming back next year. Uh, I have a lot of. I'm excited about. So those are people that I, you know, I'm I'm excited about this team moving into the future. And we already, you talked about recruiting. We're already, we've already been recruiting, and we've got, I can't say anything about it, but we've got some some transfers that that are going to, you know, uh, come to the fore here soon that that we have been working on, and uh, will be joining us. Um, and we're gonna, you know, we're we're gonna recruit the heck. I mean, we're gonna recruit hard, and we've been recruiting hard. We, you know. To me, recruiting is something you do every day, and we're going to do it. We're going to do it every day, and we're going to we're going to have a great recruiting year. I don't I don't care about the record. We're gonna we're gonna move forward. Anything else, guys? Could 
Well, what, what, all right, one last thing, Mike. I mean, not to be cute or anything like that, but I mean, you've been coaching for a long time. The level of injury that this team had this year, have you ever seen anything like it? Um, it's, it, it's, I haven't taken time to really evaluate all that um, because I think the mental, you know, when somebody gets hurt, you can't, <laughs> you love them to death and you, you know, you don't want them to get hurt, but you've got to move forward. Now, I do want to, after the season, analyze our injuries, analyze everything that happened, and we need to do everything we can moving forward to eliminate that situation. But I'd rather not comment on that as far as a, you know, you know, evaluating it in comparison to other situations because we can't do anything about it. We gotta, we gotta, we gotta rise from the, like I said, rise from the rubble and the ashes of this thing and move forward. Coach, like you.